Well, hey parents, this is Jeff and I'm here with this week's Continue the Journey activity. Now, these activities are designed to help your child continue their journey to find and follow Jesus while they're at home with you all week long. Uh, and this week, our Continue the Journey activity is called Stop Dance. It's really just kind of a version of freeze dance. The only material that you need for this is uh, something to play music on. That's it. All right, well, this week we had a main point that was another key to extreme living for God. And that point was that disciples of Jesus are never too busy for people. And that is a really tricky one right now in the, in the, uh, in the course of this pandemic because we haven't been able to be around a whole lot of people. And it's led a lot of us to feel pretty isolated. A lot of kids are feeling really isolated uh, right now. And you're, you know, you're at home working and... Honestly, I mean, I'm home working too, and it can be really tough for me to remember uh, that I need to prioritize being around people instead of ticking down my task list. I think my kids sometimes feel like I, I care more about my task list than I do about them. And, oh, it's so, it's so tough to remember uh, when I'm home all day that uh, I'm not just working on a task list that I've got my kids there too. And, and our kids struggle with that too. I mean, uh, my kids uh, with Minecraft Dungeons, man, uh, they, they care a lot more about that sometimes than being around other people. So I think a really timely, good uh, key to extreme living right here. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna help your kids remember what they learned this week during the daily snack, that uh, disciples of Jesus are never too busy for people. And you're gonna say, all right, we're gonna play a game of freeze dance and uh, pick whatever music you want. We do have uh, playlists out there for, for JC Kids. We've got it on our YouTube, uh, on the Journeys Crossing YouTube channel. We've got it on Spotify as well. JC Kids has a, has a playlist there. Or you can use whatever music you want. And say, we're going to play a game of freeze dance. But when I say freeze, I'm going to point to someone. And you have to say someone that we can stop and spend time with. And that could be uh, actual physical time, like with each other in the house. Or it could be something like a Zoom call with a grandma, could be a letter they write to someone, could be a variety of things. We have to say what you can do or who you can, you can do it with this week and what you can do. So I, you know, if, if I would point at me, I, I, said, I could say I'm going to spend time with my son and we're going to play a game together. Let this go on for a little bit. Give everyone a chance to answer at least once, including you. You've got to answer some of this as well. Commit to doing some things this week, to spend time with each other, to spend time with grandparents, whoever it is. And like I said, I'm not asking anyone to do anything that you would feel is unsafe. Uh, if those are just maybe a Zoom call to, um, to, uh, to a, a grandparent, that's great. That can be a really quality way to spend some time together right now. And in the end, remind everybody that, uh, you know what, it can be hard to think of people to spend time with. It can be hard to think of what you can do right now, but disciples of Jesus are never too busy to spend time with others. And it's really important, even in the midst of the pandemic, that we do that this week. I hope you have a lot of fun doing some freeze dance. That can always be fun. Watching your kids' dance skills is great. Ask them to floss for you and then try to floss yourself. I can't do it. My arms start doing this and my kids just laugh at me. I hope you also have a really good time thinking about how you can spend time together in a real way uh, this week and maybe putting the task list aside for just a second to make some of that quality time happen. I hope you guys have a great week. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.